This video is about the Van Dorn water sampling technique. In the video, the setup and execution of the technique will be explained and demonstrated. Van Dorn bottles are used to collect water samples at specific depths. They can be used in any water body, and the maximum depth is only limited by the length of rope you attach to it. It is important to remember that deeper samples are prone to more drift due to water current or boat movement. Because of its simple construction, the Van Dorn bottle is a low maintenance sampling device. Here is a breakdown of the parts of a Van Dorn bottle. The core of the bottle is a tube with two end caps that are connected with stretch tubing. Each end cap has a cable assembly which connects to the trip mechanism, similar to arming a mousetrap. When the trip mechanism is pressed, the end caps are released to seal the bottle. Drain valves are included in the end caps to pour the sample through tubing as needed. It is important to inspect the equipment prior to use to ensure it can collect samples without leaking and does not have corrosion which could interfere with the analytes of interest. Look it over for cracks or worn seals. Verify the stretch tube has enough tension to close underwater and tighten any loose parts. Dropping the bottle onto the bottom of the water column would contaminate the sampling area. So remember to measure the water column depth prior to deploying the Van Dorn bottle. Open an end cap and secure the cable assembly loop on the covered trip mechanism pen. Repeat to secure the other cable assembly loop on the uncovered pen. Using the marked increments on the sampling line, the bottle is slowly lowered to rinse at the sampling depth three times. After the bottle is lowered to sampling depth, the messenger is dropped down the sampling line to hit the trip mechanism and capture a sample from the discrete depth. Slowly retrieve the sampler and either open the end cap to pour into a composite bucket or Use the drain valve to add to sample bottles. Here is a demonstration of the Van Dorn trip mechanism. The end cap assembly loops are hooked to the trip mechanism pens. And pressing the button releases the end caps to seal the bottle. Once the trip mechanism is ready, the sampler can be rinsed. The messenger is released and hits the trip mechanism which seals the bottle. This method is found in the FDEP SOP FS 2100 for surface water sampling. Additional tables for construction type an analyte groups is found in table FDEP SOP FS 1000-3. Pictures are from wildco.com. Thank you for your interest in the Van Dorn sampling bottle. We hope you found this presentation informative and entertaining. Good luck!